A daring graffiti artist is leaving his calling card in some unusual locations around Cleveland, and that's angering city officials and many others. Fox 8's Jack Shea has more for us. This electronic billboard on I-77 is the latest target of a graffiti artist who, under the cover of darkness, spray paints the letters S-Y-M-S, Sims, on hard-to-reach places, like highway signs and bridge decks. Some Clevelanders mistakenly believe the symbols are 54M5 because of the unusual way the vandal paints the letters S and Y. In some cases, copycats, admirers, or competitors paint their symbols nearby, as if responding to his challenge. Some Clevelanders wonder how did he do that, but many believe the graffiti vandal is making the town look bad and view Sims as a frustrated artist who craves notoriety. It's not a positive attention, it, it's derogatory. It only brings down the city. They add no value to anything, and it, it, it doesn't enhance it at all. Thursday, crews tried to repair the damage the mysterious Sims inflicted on the electronic billboard on 77. Clear Channel, which owns the board, has filed a criminal complaint with Cleveland police. In neighborhoods around downtown, the calling card of Sims and those of his ilk does nothing but infuriate homeowners. It's not attractive. It decreases property values. The people that do it probably don't have any respect for the neighborhood that they do it in. They're very rarely from this neighborhood. They come here to bring down my neighborhood. Sources at Cleveland City Hall say investigators believe the same man was painting the town about a year ago. But he went into hiding when he found out Cleveland police were hot on his trail. Now that the heat is off, he has returned with a vengeance. There's lots of people who are curious about graffiti art and the artists that make it. And I think that there's a perception that they're, you know, scary vandals or whatever. Cleveland Public Art is holding an urban art fair in Ohio City this weekend. The group says it's trying to convince graffiti artists like Sims to use whatever talent they may have for a more constructive purpose. What we're trying to do is steer people away from that type of artwork and to look at how aerosol art and different types of graffiti art can be more of a beautiful art form than an act of vandalism. How street art can be elevated from that type of art into a nicer gallery, finer art. Uh, we work with a lot of artists who have gone on to become graphic designers, tattoo artists, gallery artists. Jack Shea, Fox 8 News. Crews were out today pressure washing one of the vandalized billboards on I-77 in Cleveland. Meanwhile, they are offering a reward for information leading to an arrest. Have you heard? And